Hello, I'm Jihee Han. I'm going to talk about our work toward the strengthening approach to path smoothing on grid graphs. Our work is mostly motiv motivated by that grid graphs are angle limited, where the agent is only allowed to move in a fixed number of directions. So the resulting paths usually have unrealistic looking due to unnecessary heading changes in free space, as the result path length is often longer than the ones in a continuous space. This problem can be mitigated by smoothing the paths in a post-processing step or by interleaving the smooth, smoothing with the search, which, which is any angle path planning, such as zeta star. But zeta star is typically slower than A star performing a frequent line of sight check during the search. So in this paper, what we aim for is to obtain the path in blue in a given a input grid path. We use the A star's shortest grid path as an input grid path and implemented the path smoothing in a post-processing step. The concept here for path smoothing is a string playing, so we think of uh, Think of the input grid path as a, as a piece of string and try to pull the path as tall as possible from star and goal vertex. So the output path is a tall string from star to goal vertex that is in the same homotopy class as the input path, so will be located between which obstacles that original input grid path moves. Our work is based on eight neighbor grid graphs where its cell is either blocked or unblocked and vertices are placed at the corner of unblocked cells and start and goal vertices are denoted as SNG and line of sight check between two vertices is performed based on the modified Branson line drawing algorithm to see if the line segment is blocked. And the input grid pass is given as um, a grid pass uh, with a, a sequence of vertices where the, each vertex on the pass is labeled in the order way in which they appear on the pass. In this slide, we briefly introduce the existing grid pass algorithm. It is basically removing the internal vertices by making a shortcut on the pass. So, and then it is iterated over usually from star to goal vertex. The figure shows that the example of how it works where the input path is given in gray. The grid path, the grid path smoothing algorithm starts, starts from P1 and see if the shortcut is possible. So the, as a, a, there is a line of sight check between until P5, the three internal vertices can be removed, but when the iteration reaches P6, then there is a no line of sight check, so we cannot remove P5. So the iteration we begins from P5, and there is a line of sight check until P6, so we can remove P6 again. This approach can reduce the path length from the initial shortest grid path, but it still shows that it is longer than the shortest path in blue and also contains the unnecessary heading changes in free space. So the objective of our string pulling algorithm is produce the shortest any angle path in the same homotopy class as the input path. We denote the output path as SP and also we define SP end and SP end minus one as the last and next to the last vertex on SP. During each iteration, it either appends a vertex to SP or truncate SP by removing the last vertex on it. About the appending procedure, it happens when LOS check fails and we determine which vertex need to be appended to SP to make the taut and unblocked path. So in order to do that, we check the LOS between SP end and current vertex PI on input path, and then identify the set of blocked cells that cause the LOS check to fail, and also determine the set of candidate vertices to be appended to SP from those cells. For example, SP initially has the star vertex C1 as the SP end, and then we check the LOS between C1 and B3 initially, as there is a line of sight, so we move on to the next PI, which is B4. This line segment is blocked by these cells, 
and there is a full number of uh, candidate vertices that can be added to SP. We choose one by calculating, calculating angle between um, P minus 1, which is B3, and SP end, and PI. And we choose, uh, based on these four candidate vertices, B3 has the smallest angle, so it is appended to SP. And when SP starts to turn in a different direction without LOS failure, then it is no longer taut and remove the last vertex from it to make SP taut again. In order to do that, we use a variable turn that keeps the kind of turn of SP, which is categorized in either left, straight, or right. For example, when B3 is appended to SP, the resulting turn of C1, B3, B4 is right direction, and it, it is recorded in the variable turn. In the later iteration, the current kind of turn here, this moment, is of uh, C1, B3, A5 is a straight, which is different with the one stored in the variable turn. So we remove the last vertex, B3, from SP. And then we keep iterating the uh, by checking the LOS from, L, uh, from between uh, SP and C1 and also the PI here in A6. There are two uh, cells that cause the LOS check to fail and eight number of the vertices that can be add, added to SP. Uh, we choose the one based on the approach we mentioned earlier and there are two vertex B3 and A5 has the smallest angle as zero. In case of ties, we choose the one farthest away from SPN, which is uh, C1 here, to keep the number of iterations small. So A5 is appended to SP, and then the goal vertex is added at the end of the iteration. So we conducted the comparative is experiments with the original shortest script pass, which is A star without pass smoothing, and the A star with grid pass smoothing, and set star. We consider 20 different types of maps from the moving a AI repository and average the result over all instances and maps. The figure shows that the pass from A star without pass smoothing in gray, and A star with grid pass smoothing in dotted green, and A star with a string playing in blue, and set a star in dashed black line. In terms of pass length, which is a given as optimality gap from the ANIA's shortest pass, the set a star was so achieved the shortest uh, pass length uh, with the 0.13%, followed by string playing and grid pass smoothing and A star without pass smoothing. In terms of runtime, the shortest one was achieved by A star without pass smoothing, followed by grid pass smoothing and string playing, and then CSSR. In terms of number of heading changes in free space, the string playing achieved a zero number of heading changes heading changes in free space, followed by CSSR and grid pass smoothing and A star without pass smoothing. In this paper, we developed a new pass smoothing algorithm based on string playing. It starts with an input grid pass and put the input pass as taut as possible. In, in experiments, the string playing algorithm finds the shortest pass than the grid pass smoothing while running almost as fast as it. And compared to Zeta star, our algorithm can significantly reduce the runtime but obtains similar pass lengths. In particular, the string playing algorithm achieved the zero number of heading changes in free space. This ends my presentation. Thank you.